In iOS, we have many different concurrency options. The first option and the least recommended one is to use plain old threads. Now wait, you say, aren't we already working in, with threads? And yes, we are. Apple has created frameworks to make working and managing threads much easier. By doing it manually, though, we create a lot of work for ourselves. Now, if you ever need to manage the work yourself, you have the NSThread class. And if you are coming from a Unix background, you also can use POSIX threads as well. The next option you have is Grand Central Dispatch. Grand Central Dispatch, or otherwise known as GCD, is a framework used to handle concurrent operations. It's a low-level framework that is designed to scale your operations per the number of cores available to you. Another option is Operation Queues. Operation Queues are built on top of GCD and makes working with it really easy. You get a nice syntax as well as a few other features like being able to cancel operations and set up dependencies with ease, whereas it takes a bit of code to do the same with GCD. With the release of iOS 13, we received another option, and that is Combine. Combine is a declarative way of managing work in the background. It works by a combination of publishers, subscribers, and operators. You'll learn more about Combine in part four of this course. Now, Combine allows you to switch between threads with ease by way of operators. GCD and operations queues use the idea of a queue or a line. You take your work as a task and you add it to the queue. The queue's work is first in, first out. As you add your tasks, they will be dispatched to the threads to do the work. These tasks could be run one at a time or they could be run all at once. The choice is up to you and also the resources available on the device. For this course, we'll be using Grand Central Dispatch. You'll also see how Operation Queues work in, and in part four, we'll be diving deep into Combine. To learn about other options and how to use them to improve your code, definitely check up the follow-up course on concurrency to get you started. Here we have our demo that we built in the previous episode. And if we build and run, tapping the button effectively freezes the user interface. To fix this, we need to add some concurrency to the mix. Open up contentview.swift and find the calculate primes method. The first thing we need to do is create a new queue. First, create a variable called queue and we'll assign it a new operation queue. This queue will run on a different thread. If we wanted the code to run on the main thread so that we could update the user interface, we could create a queue like this. But we won't be using the main queue, so delete that line of code. Next, we need to create a new operation. Click File, New File, Swift File. Give it the name Calculate Prime Operation. Next, create the class definition. This class is a subclass of an operation. To add our code, we must override the main method. This is where we put our long running code. Copy the calculation code to the operation. Now switch back over to contentview.swift and comment all the code underneath the operation queue. Select the code and press command forward slash. This will comment out the block in one keystroke. We need to use our new operation. First, create an instance variable to store our operation.
To use the operation, just add it to a queue, and that's it. Build and run. Now tap the button again. This time we have access to the user interface while we still calculate our primes. Okay, that looks great, but this approach tends to create a lot of classes for individual operations, which can be overkill for smaller operations. Thankfully, we can just pass a closure to our queue. Stop the simulator and in contentview.swift, delete the add operation line. Now type the following. This just takes our closure and creates an operation for us. Now uncomment the code by selecting the block and pressing command forward slash. Put the code in the braces. Because our code is running in a closure and accessing a method, we need to refer to self. Build and run. We get the same effect, but now we have our code inlined, so we don't need to create an individual class. So why use classes at all? The class gives you various methods to override that correspond to the lifecycle of the operation. That allows you to chain operations together, create dependencies, and cancel operations in progress. You can do the same with Grand Central Dispatch. First, comment out the code and calculate primes. Now create a dispatch queue. Here we create a dispatch queue. We need to set the quality of service, or QOS. This gives a hint to the system of the importance of the work you are doing. Now add the work to be done. Now we have our code running for GCD. Build and run your app. It works like before, only this time it's running on Grand Central Dispatch.